Matthew chapter 18 from verse 21 to 35 with the parable of the unforgiven servant the lesson Jesus drives home to our minds is that we must forgive one another over and over again friends we all probably have at least one relationship in which the memory of an unforgiving heart continues to linger and prevents us from fully loving some persons. Many Christians harbor resentment and anger because of some difference of opinion, some real or imagined slight, some unkind word. Jesus stated clearly, that God will forgive us to the extent that we are willing to forgive others. The scriptures instruct us to forgive one another as Christ has forgiven us. In Colossians chapter 3 verse 13. God's forgiveness and our forgiveness of others are inseparably linked. As we come to know God's love for us, his forgiveness is often one of the first graces we experience. Christ came into the world to forgive us and free us from sin so that we may enjoy it in our life. God has forgiven us, not just for our own sake, but so that we can extend his love and mercy to others. As we forgive others, and are reconciled with them, we are doing the work of God. And the love of God is revealed to the world. What is the obstacle that hinders us from forgiving the way Jesus does? It is the sin which resides deeply in us. It is not until we know God's forgiveness that we are able to forgive and love others. For the one to whom little is forgiven loves little in Luke chapter 7 verse 47. When God's love takes root in our minds and hearts, we will be transformed. Instead of being controlled by our selfish natures, we will be able to show mercy and compassion. As we repent of our sins and experience the tender forgiveness of Christ, we will be empowered to forgive as Jesus did. Remember, he forgave even those who nailed him to the cross in Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Friends, let us think of one relationship in our lives where we know we need to forgive. Picture that person in your mind. Ask Jesus to help you love that person just as deeply and fully as he himself does. Then forgive that person and hold nothing else against him or her. Do this for other relationships where forgiveness and healing are necessary. Let us pray. Father, raise our thoughts to the heavenly realm so that we are not controlled by resentment and anger. Give us the grace to repent of our sins and to forgive others just as you have so graciously forgiven us. Amen. Thank you so much, my dear friend, for listening. Please do remember to subscribe. God bless you.